In this tutorial, we will introduce the integration of Kony Visualizer Enterprise with Mobile Fabric. The integration of Mobile Fabric with Visualizer allows you to define and integrate your enterprise data directly on Visualizer. Visualizer provides a visual mapping editor which allows you to map data from a service response to the widgets on the application forms. Today, we will learn how to configure Mobile Fabric on Visualizer, mapping service data to Visualizer widgets, and briefly overview an example of how to integrate a mobile fabric service. As an example, we will integrate a mobile fabric service which will fetch a list of airport codes and cities for a travel application. On the visualizer, we will use two forms in this application for the integration. The first form has a button through which we will trigger the service call to fetch data and the second form will be used to list data returned from this service. Since we have the forms pre-designed, we will begin by configuring Mobile Fabric on Visualizer. To configure Mobile Fabric, we will navigate to Kony Visualizer Preferences. In the Preferences window, under Kony Visualizer, we have Mobile Fabric. Here, the Kony Cloud instance is configured by default based on the user's login credentials. Users using an on-premise version of Mobile Fabric may configure Visualizer to point to the on-premise instance. You can validate the configuration through the validate button provided here. Once this is done, click on OK to finish. Now that the Mobile Fabric configuration is completed, let us access the Mobile Fabric console. We will do this by clicking on the Mobile Fabric option in our project. This will launch the Mobile Fabric console. You can always switch back to Visualizer by using the workspace icon provided on the left menu. In Mobile Fabric, we have an app named Airport. This contains a few integration services, one of which we will use in our app today. We will use the test service XML2. This is an XML service which fetches data from the endpoints we have already defined. We have defined two operations in this service. The first operation requires two request parameters, the search string which is used to define the search criteria and the user key which is used to validate the service call with the service endpoint. Once the response is received, we have configured XPath in the response output to parse the data and assign the values to the response parameters. In this case, we will receive a list of airport codes and cities starting with the alphabet A since we have passed the alphabet A as the search criteria. Let us validate this through the test button provided on Mobile Fabric. As expected, the service fetches the airport codes and cities. The second operation is similarly defined to fetch data with the search criteria as alphabet B. Now that our services are ready, we will switch back to Visualizer and publish these services to Mobile Fabric. Visualizer opens up the publish window where we can publish the services. Once the services have been successfully published, we will switch back to our application on Visualizer. Here, we will map the service response from each operation to the segment widgets we have on the airport list form. Now, let us integrate the service using the action editor. I will go to the form and select the action editor on the onTouch event of the label. Here, we have invoked the service and now we will map the data using the mapping editor. Here, I have mapped the response values from the service to the labels in my segment widget. We will perform similar mapping for both the operations. Now that we have completed the integration of Mobile Fabric services, let us execute the application on an emulator. Here, I have the booking screen where I invoke my services and fetch data to be displayed on the airport list screen. For more information on integration with Mobile Fabric, visit developer.coni.com or coni.com product visualizer.